We're back here with the science kids, stuck at home again, right? Yeah. But what's a thing we have to do all the time to keep ourselves safe? Wash hands? That's right. Drexel, how long do you have to wash your hands? Like 20 seconds or so? That's right. How do you know if you've got everything off of your hands? I don't know. So what we're gonna do today is wash our hands with paint. We're gonna pretend like this blue paint is the soap. 20, 19, 18. But we can see the blue paint much more better than the soap. Two, one. Okay, stop, stop. Are there spots where you don't have any blue paint? Yeah. Where? In the, your, in the lines in your fingers. Tell me what's in between your fingers. No blue paint. You know what that means? What? You didn't wash your hands right. You still have places on your hands that could have virus on them. Oh. So what do you think you should do when you wash your hands? Wash your whole hand. What else can you use to wash? There's this stuff called hydrogen peroxide. The EPA has a growing list of coronavirus disinfectants. Open your phone's camera and scan the screen for a link. It's common household stuff like... You can also use isopropyl alcohol. Or bleach for surfaces, but when it comes to your hands, it's all about soap and water. It's not good enough to wash for 20 seconds. You have to wash your whole hand. That's right. That's good advice, Drexel. Thanks, science kids. You're welcome. Bye.